Hello, it is Monday, January 29th, 2024. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Monday puzzle. That means we're going to be solving a sh- what should be a relatively approachable themed edition of the New York Times Crossword to kick off the solving week. And this hopefully approachable themed edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Laura Sexton, Victoria Rozhichka, Kathleen Quinn, and as always, the indomitable Shulmaster. So thank you so much to the four of them. They're benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, and that means their generous support keeps this whole thing afloat. So thank you to them. Thank you to everybody who's a patron of the channel. I really do appreciate it. And if you'd like to... Uh, become one yourself, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video. Sorry if you can hear some knocking that just started as I uh, as I started the video, but it's next door. It's not anyone knocking on my door. Wow, that is that is intense. <laughs> okay. Sorry if that's coming through. Anyway, there's the uh, Patreon campaign uh, in the link in the description field. You can find the bonus videos there. And uh, there's also the Daily Solve Discord chat server, which can also be joined via a description field link. And finally, there is the ability to help out the channel in uh, small ways, like subscribing on YouTube, liking the videos, commenting on the videos. Those things are all helpful. All right, let's get on to the crossword. This is a collaborative construction by Garrett Chalfin and Andrew Kingsley, uh, one of whom is responsible for about half a dozen puzzles and the other for about three dozen, I think. I think that's in this order, but I'm not 100% uh, certain. In any case, uh, welcome back to them. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. Let's start solving and see what they've got in store for us today. Okay, if you're completely enthralled, you're wrapped, I would, would be my first guess, but let's check the crosses and see. Dangerous and thrilling part of a river to canoeists. The rapids, so, you know, river rapids or whitewater rapid, ra- uh, whitewater rafting, that kind of thing. Okay, if you nailed the exam, you aced it, I would say. And an orange smoothie fruit is papaya, maybe? Oh, is this acai? It is purple smoothie fruit. There we go. There we go. The official superfood berry of the New York Times crossword. And perhaps you could combine those into one mega crossword smoothie. Um, I haven't a clue if they would taste good together. I've never, I don't even know. You know, I've never even, now that I think about it, I don't know that I've ever had acai. I've, I've only experienced it by by way of crossword. So maybe I should rectify that one of these days. Anyway, 50-50 EG could be a tie in a game. And an amorous cartoon skunk is Pepe Le Pew. And um, it's asterisked, which means it's also one of our theme clues. We don't yet know how or why. Uh, it looks like every other letter is an E. So we're, we're alternating consonants with E's. I don't know if that ends up being relevant. It's just a thing that I've, that sticks out to me about that answer. Anyway, secret supply could be a stash. And blank weapon buddy cop movie lethal weapon is a buddy cop film series. Um, Cupid's Greek counterpart would be Eros, so the god of, of love. There we go. And to bounce one's booty on the dance floor would be to twerk. There we go. I wonder how many times that's appeared in the crossword. Probably not very many, I would think. Relatively recent edition. Uh, Cry at the end of the work week could be TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. And to disappear like magic would be to go poof. There we go. If one used a loom, one wove. There we go. Some... uh, some fabric or something. And then here we have St. Blank's skincare brand, St. Ives. Okay, I think I've seen that probably. And then if you have hardly any of something, you have few of that thing. Here we have an impartial court proceeding uh, guaranteed by the Constitution. Um, Do I think it's going to alternate E's? Probably not. That was probably just a coincidence. Um, Impartial court proceeding guaranteed by the Constitution. Something like trial by jury or something there's maybe this is a a latin term that is legally important i'm not sure what this is uh let's go back up here and keep solving the crosses police department alerts probably apbs for all points bulletins uh might be put out by a police department if they're in search of a particular person they would put out an all points bulletin on that person uh wonderstruck if you're wonderstruck you're amazed you're awed maybe you're even wrapped. 
Okay, summer meteor shower, the, is it the Perseids? I think that sounds right to me. Let's look at the crosses. Don't sweat the small stuff. There we go. Towel material could be terry, as in a terry cloth, perhaps. And then, yes, pig place is a sty, so that looks good. Platter used to carry glassware, a bar, I was going to say a bar cart, but probably a bar tray it makes more sense. And this would then look like midst, maybe? Yes, yeah, central position. If you're in the midst, you're in the central position, I suppose. I've never heard it described that way, but it makes sense. Okay, it helps a clown stand tall, a stilt, so clowns might walk on stilts and appear to be unnaturally tall. A historic period would be an era, and this was clued in the puzzle uh, the other day, referring to periods of one's life on social media, as I recall. Gore and green for two. Al's. Al, Al Gore and Al Green. So Al Gore, the U.S. politician, and Al Green, the uh, singer. Okay, impartial. Oh, right, right. Fair, oh, fair trial. Fair trial. Right. Okay, there we go. That's the impartial court proceeding guaranteed by the Constitution. Okay. So it has nothing to do with ease. In fact, there are no ease in this word, so that wasn't anything. I'm cracking up as I type this. One might say, LOL laughing out loud or lots of laughs or whatever it is. Sauron's realm in the Lord of the Rings. Oh, uh, Sor uh, Sauron was the antagonist in Lord of the Rings. So, and Mordor was the place that, the bad place that I guess, I guess he rules there, but that's where Frodo had to go. Okay, so a blank ought to have a good memory, quintillion. A liar, I suppose. Yes, that is one of the things they say about lies is that they get, they become hard to keep up because you have to remember them all. Okay, family guy, a dad could be a, a family person, family guy. Bonus is an add-on maybe, fairly straightforwardly. Rocket launch site is a pad, a launch pad. And ice cream brand is Edie's, there we go. I don't remember if this is one of the ones that is coast specific, but I do at least recognize it as an ice cream brand in general. Uh, thin as a voice, you could describe the voice of, a, I suppose, a person or a certain instruments as being reedy, having a, a kind of a thin, airy quality. And here, oh, right, here's our revealer. It says, what the answers to the starred clues all are when their first and last letters are removed. Right, okay. First and last letters. E. Pelope? Air Trya? Oh, oh, they're, they're, they're palindromes. They're palindromes. Okay, they, they're not, when you remove the first and last letter, they're not readable. They don't say anything, but they do uh, consist of the same order of letters in either direction. That's what's being, that is what's being specified here. Oops. There we go. Okay, so we have Epe Lepe reads the same in either direction. Eritrea reads the same in either direction. And so does Artra reads the same in either direction. Okay, so those are palindromes. Great. Well, they're interior palindromes. Okay, gnarly could be rad, you, you might say, in sort of 80s or 90s slang, maybe. Uh, Philippa of Hamilton. Philippa Sue was um, part of the original cast as one of the Schuyler sisters in Hamilton, I believe. Um, something dreary could be dreary. Not sure. Christmas. Oh, I spelled palindromes. Palomdromes. What on earth? How did I get both of those letters wrong? That was bizarre. So this is Noel. Christmas is Noel. Strange. Dreary. Oh, dismal. As in, it was a dreary day. It was a dismal day. And then here we have an involuntary muscle contraction is a spasm. A game that involves covering one's eyes uh, peekaboo. There we go. Poetic tributes, ah, the official poetic form of the New York Times crossword, the ode. So poetic tributes would be odes. Um, and then we've had a few of those re just recently after, not for a while. Winning tic-tac-toe line Oh, so a winning line in tic-tac-toe is, is either, it will is three in a row. So in this case, O, O, O. Or three knots, you could say. Just a sec. One moment. Nope. Once again, that is that. And uh, there we go. We've spelled 
Uh, Nomomen is our, is our palindrome inside of this one. Repository of genetic material is a DNA bank, and Nabon is our uh, is our palindrome, our interior palindrome. If something's relating to the bottom layer, it's basal or of the of the base. The adjectival form of that. Um, images that give the illusion of movement. Oh, op art. Right. Yeah. This is this is referring to that that particular kind of of uh, optical illusion. What does op stand for? I can't remember. I've looked this up before. Maybe it is just optic. Maybe it is actually optical. Is that what it stands for? Op art, optical art. Maybe I don't know, but that's but that's certainly what this is. It's, it's the answer, regardless. Okay, here we have Jaja or Eva of old Hollywood. Uh, Gabor, Jaja Gabor or Eva Gabor. There we go. Who are sisters? I think. And blank patch kids, gummy candy, are uh, sour patch kids or a um, sugary candy. And two way as doors, so in out doors as opposed to one way doors, I suppose. Dog tag wearers in brief could be GIs, so members of the military could be wearing dog tags with their with their identification. Um, GI for I think general infantry. Okay, we're up here. There are two in this clue, right? Two typos. So this uh, should be immediately familiar to me because I keep making these myself in the crossword recently. So we've we've misspelled there. This is the wrong there, uh, and we've misspelled two. This is the wrong two. Um, so it should be there, T-H-E-R-E, -E, and two T-W-O, and then uh, as written, these are two typos. Um, that's clever. I don't know that I've seen that before, at least not recently that I can remember. Bread at a Seder. So uh, this is referring to the Passover meal. So uh, matzah, unleavened bread, could be, could be served, or matzah. There we go. I think is how this is spelled. Now that I actually see it, um, musical set in Oz with the the Wiz. So that's the musical adaptation of the Wizard of Oz. And then, if one fine tunes something, one tweaks it. A map enlargement could be an inset, so you could have, I don't know, you know, an island or something that's um, inset closer to the to the mainland in a map and enlarged. Um, numbers game, uh, Kino is, is some kind of, I don't know, I think vaguely bingo like gambling game, uh, Bauhaus artist, Paul, Paul Clay, is Paul Clay part of the Bauhaus movement? I can't actually remember, but I'm going to try it and put it in and see, uh, short lived store event, a f oh, flash sale. There we go. And Lash Saul becomes our internal uh, palindrome. Boy, they are they are very creatively noisy today next door. <laughs> Do not know uh, what's going on. Okay, hockey faint, a deke. I've seen this before. So uh, a deke is a is a sort of way of avoiding uh, you know an opponent in some manner. Uh, first president to appear on television familiarly, FDR. There we go. Okay, so Franklin Delano Roosevelt. I suppose that makes sense given the time time period. And then to take five would be to rest, to sort of step back from something momentarily. Lumberjack's tool is a saw for um, for sawing lumber, and something people trip on. Trip on a something people trip on. Trip on. I don't know. What fun we maybe <laughs> exclaim enjoy. What ministers do? They uh, preach, at least religious ministers, as opposed to say government ministers. Um, ex to extend beyond would be to outlie. Maybe you could say that's an outlier. It extends beyond the ordinary range. And then to regret something is to rue it, and so on. Abbreviation could be uh, etc for etc. And so on etc cetera, etc. Cetera. And to withdraw formally would be to secede from a larger polity of some kind. Uh, and then, f oh, something people trip on is acid. Okay, there we go. I was looking for something. I don't know. I was looking for something else and I didn't find it. It was this. And there we go. 
that was the Monday crossword. I think it was indeed fairly gentle. And we had one of these uh, classic early week themes in which you don't really need to understand the theme in order to solve most of it. Although I suppose in this case, you, you do need to understand it in order to solve, to answer the revealer. You do need to recognize that these are palindromes in order to answer this without simply getting it through crosses. And so there we go. Um, we've got our various internal palindromes. Uh, Epe Lupe, Artra, Eritrea, Nemomen, Nabon, and Lashsol. Uh, so there we go. These things mean nothing, or maybe they mean something. You can decide for yourself what these cryptic palindromic words mean. Uh, and that's that for the Monday crossword. I'm going to wrap up this video before even new and exciting uh, ways of creating strange sounds uh, enter into our, our our shared experience here. So there we have it. That was the Monday crossword. I'll be back tomorrow with what should be another relatively approachable early, early week puzzle for Tuesday. Join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Monday. Take care. Mm -hmm.